And I need you right now I need you right now, yes Come Holy Spirit I said I need you right now, yes I said I need you right now, yes I said I need you right now See that song tells its own story I need you right now See when you are needing of somebody right now There's an urgency there's an urgency, there's a pressing matter at hand that needs a desperate intervention. That desperation leads you to faith. Because you now have to place your faith in someone who is not you. And that's what God wants all the time. He wants us not to be <coughs> to be based on, 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 on ourselves and think that we are God. Because realize that a lot of us come to Christ here, yeah? not when... Things are going bad, but when we are in desperation. See, things can go bad in everybody's life. And they're like, okay, cool. But when the things are in the most dire straits and you cannot see any way out of the situation, you begin to consider. That's why every atheist is not an atheist because when things go absolutely terribly wrong in the time of their life, one or time or not, they've prayed. In the hope that there's somebody there to answer their prayers. Just because God doesn't answer in the way you like it, don't mean that God don't exist. You get me? But I'm just saying, until we're desperate, yeah, God, the things are so, a lot of things don't change in our lives. Until you're desperate for the masturbation to stop, it ain't stopping. Until you're desperate to stop fornicating, it ain't stopping. Until you're desperate to stop swearing, it ain't stopping. Until you're desperate, into your desperate things ain't stopping. You get me? Into your desperate things ain't gonna change because that desperation leads you to God. That desperation leads you to Christ. That desperation leaves you to the Holy Spirit who's now going to maneuver and sanctify and begin to work in power. Because the Bible says in Acts 1, 8 that he give us power. The Holy Spirit, when he comes upon you, will give you power. But it's a desperation. A desperation of that need, man. I said, come Holy Spirit, I need you right now. I said, I need you right now, yeah. I said I need you right now You need him right now And it's desperate times You get me? I am desperate for you Jesus But listen, listen, roll talk, roll talk Let me keep serious, let me keep serious So today's word for today Brother came to me as I was walking I was thinking I'm going to talk about You know, meet the parents and stuff like that Because I had a little sign planned. You get me? And then a word came to me Desperate for the Lord, bruv. I was like, why? And the scriptures that came to my head was the woman that had, uh, was I think it was like 12 years that she'd been bleeding. You know, um, the Mark 5. That's actually what the one I was really focused on, which is Mark 5. Yeah. And the desperation, yeah, of the man that was on the cliff. Understanding, yeah, that this guy was so desperate. When he saw Christ cross over, yeah, man ran and worshipped Jesus Christ. He prostrated before Christ. He, he knelt down in front of Christ. You get me? The reason why he did that because he was desperate for a change. When you've been locked up, tied up, beaten up, you've been smashed down, you've been spoken to wrongly, you've been hurt, you've been damaged, you've been broken, you've been contrite, you've been you've been absolutely just decimated. And you're on your last stand, you're on your last legs, you don't know where you're gonna turn, you don't know where you're gonna go next. Everything in your life is not going right. You've tried every single thing in your own strength. But listen, God is looking for you to be desperate for him not change but desperate for him because when i first thought about desperate for change no no desperate for him you see the moment you become desperate for him he can maneuver the woman that had the 12 years that was bleeding she was so desperate for jesus christ and for the healing of this man because she truly believed that when she touches him something gonna happen that in amongst that she was on the floor and amongst people who were standing and thronging and grabbing jesus christ she just wanted to just get a piece that's how desperate she was. She's so desperate, she wanted to get a piece and just grab a piece of his cloak. And when she did, Jesus Christ said, who? Oh, the virtue has left me. What's happened? He instantly knew because somebody was desperate for him and reached out to him. You see, when we want Christ to come into the situation, there must be a desperation for him. 
a desperation for him. Because when we're desperate, yeah, you need him. When you're desperate, right, you rely. When you're desperate, yeah, and there's no other thing left. You've just focused on this sole thing. That's why I realized that when the Bible says by faith, you see, as faith as small as a mustard seed can move a mountain, but it's the desperation that moves that mountain because we only tend to move mountains when we are desperate. You see, the situation is so big and so heavy and so against you that you're now desperate for the Lord. And you're so desperate for the Lord, he maneuvers on your behalf. Matty. Because when you look at Mark 5 and you see this guy who's chained up, beaten up. And I, I don't even look at it as just being demon possessed. I look at people who are mentally ill. I look at people who also um, have depression, who are, um, you know, who are physically sick. I look at people who are in a tight spot spiritually, physically. They are, their life is not going the way they want it to go. But they have to be desperate for Jesus Christ. And when they're desperate for Jesus Christ, he comes in. He comes in. And boom. Boom, boom, just like that, you get me? And I was thinking about it, and you look at it, I, I'm still astounded, I'm still astounded, you know? I'm still astounded that by desperation, God can maneuver, you know? Because in that desperate part, like I said, you just don't want to focus on anybody else, but the single focus realizing that this can change. There was a time period in my life, yeah, where it was mad. Listen, my whole life was My life has never been the same When September came and when The way I was, the way it was I cannot explain The things I feel for do <laughs> Listen, let me stop I'm saying, but for real talk I, I, I was so mad My world was changing, bruv and everything was going wrong. And I got to a point of desperation where I said to the Lord, listen, I ain't sure If I'm going to follow you again because this is too mad this is too mad. I'm so desperate. The same way Joe was. I'm so desperate right now. Like, I don't want to insult you, God, but I'm desperate. I'm in a tight position. I'm hurt. But things around me, and I can't explain that. I can't understand that. I'm meant to be a Christian. So fam, why are things got going right for me? I'm meant to be Christian. Why am I suffering so much, bruv? We focus on all these things, but the desperation leads you back to Christ. The desperation leads you to God. The desperation leads you to needing the Holy Spirit. The desperation leads you now into prayer. The desperation now leads you into worship. The desperation now leads you into reading your word. Why is this happening to me? Desperation.